Today, I'm telling you guys about a super cool, playable mobile Web3 game that is just absolutely awesome because it is completely free to play and play to own, which is honestly probably the future of mobile gaming. So I can't wait to show this one off. I literally learned about this game because I was listening to a podcast as I do to stay informed about the future of the Web3 gaming space. And the CEO of this project happened to be one of the guests. So yeah, this is just the website that we're on here. You can see the website is interactive and super cool as we go in. But unlike most game overview videos in this space, where I just kind of describe what the game is about and go over the white paper, we don't have to in this video. We're gonna actually jump into gameplay and I'm gonna show you guys how this game works from the inside because we are in the closed alpha. So as I'm going through this, I'm gonna be explaining it all to you guys so that you understand how this game works, how the ownership works, how, you know, it's all kind of coming together so that it's just as informative as if I was reading through the white paper. So starting off, in order to get access to the closed alpha, you can see that I have the app installed here. Um, this is available on Android and uh, Apple. And I have to go and I have to log in to my account and that is actually going to let me get into the game. For any of you guys who are watching who think this game is super awesome after seeing me play it, which I think most of you guys will, if you want access to the alpha, then let's hop back over to my laptop really quick and let me just quickly overview this for those of you guys who want access. So there are two ways to get into this game and play it. One is to apply to become a beta tester. So I'm gonna have this Medium article linked in the description. Um, and if you just apply uh, from this beta article, it will literally just bring you to an application. They ask you some questions and then they'll send you an email if they accept you to be a tester and will give you a download link to the game. However, if you don't want to wait and you want guaranteed access to this game, um, then you can acquire that by getting yourself a Shatterpoint Founders Collection Hero NFT, which there are 3,333 of. And these NFTs are really cool because most characters in the game that are free, anyone can play this game for free, most of these characters are going to reset every shattering, which is like every season, and they're gonna go all the way back to level one. But NFT characters, are going to be unique in that they're not gonna reset so that you can go into the next season with a level 50 character already and start farming the new NFTs uh, that drop in the game as you play. Now, for you to play players, they can still farm, get the same NFT drops, but they're reset every single season. Also, um, some of these heroes have like these special um, pets that I think are gonna be revealed in the future still. So if we click one of these characters, you can see um, that they have a founder hero evolution of a Multar cage. So um, hopefully that gives you like a hero in the game or like a pet in the game uh, for your hero when you're playing. I think that would be super cool, but these are yet to be revealed. I think what's in here. Um, and then all the traits of all of these heroes are, are yet to be revealed as well. Um, but that will make more sense to you uh, once we jump into the, into the game. So here we are now on my mobile device. This is my character right now. I uh, downloaded this game yesterday and literally played it for like six or seven hours yesterday and then I woke up this morning at like 8 a.m. and guess what I played it for like another several hours and now what am I doing I love my job I am talking about this game and playing it more uh, to show it off to you guys so all of these items currently um, that you see here are not on the blockchain however as I'm completing quests and uh, like going further in the cam pain and stuff like that, I also collect these runes and these runes are NFT like passive benefits for your hero that you take into uh, the next season. So even free to play players um, are going to be getting these runes as NFT gifts that they take into the next seasons, uh, which are really cool because they're also upgradable and tradable. So real ownership, a real economy here. Plus all of the items that you get each season, they get completely destroyed into to the in-game currencies at the end of each season. And these currencies are not connected to the blockchain, they're just for the in-game economies. And if I was to do a mass dismantle here, which I'm gonna do of all of these gray items, uh, because I know that I'm not gonna want any of them because gray items don't have any special abilities, um, I'm gonna be getting a big payout here 
of 88 from this dismantle. So yes, I am sure. And then you can see that goes straight to the top here. This game is like a really high quality game. Actually, one of the studios working on this game has billions of downloads and over 200 million daily active players on their mobile games. Like this is like a order of magnitude bigger even um, than the mobile game company that Gala Games acquired behind this game. So like this is like really, really high quality stuff. I'm not gonna go too deep into my loadout, but right now I've been going for like a quality find because I want more good drops. So I'm kind of just trying to compound um, the quality of my drops um, instead of focusing on like just being the strongest right now. This game is player versus environment and player versus player. So let's jump into um, a match here. I'm gonna go into um, a relatively difficult level that I should still be able to beat for you guys so I don't make myself uh, look like a fool here. But you can see how yeah, the animations and stuff for this are just absolutely solid. So um, if you've ever played Arturo, it's a game that I would say is like fairly similar to this in feel. So you can see my health bar in the top left. Um, all of my abilities are in the bottom right. And I'm playing this on um, a like Z fold. So this is more of a, uh, like uh, iPad dimensions here, um, but it works perfectly like on a, just an iPhone as well. Um, and yeah, let me see if I can not die here. These, uh, these enemies are pretty difficult. Normally I'm doing more dodging and stuff, but I feel like dodging arrows and, and stuff like that's a little bit harder to do when I'm also trying to provide commentary. Um, but you can see my health is increasing right now because I just used my last uh, little health boost. Um, and now we're gonna have to play this quite a bit smarter uh, because we don't have any more heals. So hopefully uh, some of the enemies drop heals and you guys don't actually have to pick up the items uh, from the chest, so they'll come to you um, as long as you uh, just like run off the screen. Oh my gosh, I love the, the abilities uh, that do like the AOE damage. I feel like they're so good in, this, in these player versus environments. Um, but yeah, I'm getting pretty low and I don't have any heals, so I really need these guys to drop heals and I need to dodge these arrows as well. There we go. Dodge that arrow. And yeah, this game is really, really fun. Like I am almost surprised. Like I knew when I saw it, I was like, okay, they, yeah, this is the type of game I'm probably going to like, but I was surprised how fun it actually is, how smooth it actually is and how much I actually just like really enjoy the experience of playing, um, which is definitely what, what you want to hear. And ah, there we go. I died. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a really fun, uh, really fun experience playing this game. And if I was able to concentrate a little bit more on, on avoiding some of my damage as I was getting through that, um, that is a level that, that I have already uh, beat. But if you want to level up, there's also these skirmishes, uh, which have different uh, levels as well that you can get experience and items for. And you can kind of just like infinitely farm these and the more difficult levels have uh, higher drops. Um, but yeah, I can um, I have multiple characters as well. I actually bought one of each of the five uh, playable hero characters because I'm like, oh, they're collectibles. And this game um, seems super awesome. Um, but you can say this hero, so remember I was talking about the traits that your NFTs have? Well, this hero I have unlocked the first two traits for, so I'm like agile and tough. So plus 18 agile, plus 15% defense. The percent I think is probably a lot better uh, when you have a lot better items and stuff to have that passive percentage boost. Uh, but yeah, I need to get some more Qantas dust in order to unlock my third trait here, but I have gotten to a high enough level. I'm level 33 here. Um, after just uh, two days of playing, you guys can can see I've been I've been playing quite a lot. Um, but if we check out my runes, you can see if I hit merge runes, if I get another level two rune, um, I can add it here and then merge these to another even higher tier rune, uh, which is pretty cool. What engraving runes does is it actually empowers the ability that the rune represents. So you can see here I have a tier three rune that has fire grenade, spike fury, and sprint. And each of them has uh, a different number of upgrades. And these were successful engravings. You can see some of them had a, like red engravings as well, which were failed engravings. So you can see Spike Fury has four, Sprint has four, Fire Grenade also has, uh, I think six here. And this impacts the strength 
of the abilities in the map. If we quickly check out your character page, you can see that my runes have impacted the strength of my abilities. So my Spike Fury has some upgrades here and you can see what the upgrades do. So runes are very powerful ways to make your character stronger over the long term through the shatterings because these runes are NFTs and stay with you even when your character gets reset each season. But let me show you a boss battle. It's actually pretty fun. Uh, this is a super easy boss, so this is not gonna be um, difficult at all, unlike the last level, um, which is like more at the skill level that my character is currently at. But this is the first boss I fought and it's still the only boss that I have fought. So um, I wish I could show off a different boss, but this is, this is the guy right now. You can see though, this animations and stuff, just really, really high quality game. Like I would totally, like I would play this, it's like just as high quality as Arturo. I would play this like Arturo as a web two game. Uh, but the fact that I get real ownership in this game as well, uh, it's just super, super awesome. So yeah, as you can see, this guy, not too difficult to beat. I'm just letting my kind of gun passive ability uh, kill him off here, uh, which is also poisoning him. Uh, let's, let's throw a nice big bomb on him and then finish him off with some spikes. <laughs> and then he explodes into a bunch of super epic items. Um, and then after you actually beat a level, you can just click the portal like in the middle of the screen. You don't actually have to run to it, but you can also run to the portal as well. And yeah, this is, uh, I've just been enjoying this game so much. We need fun games. Like this is way more fun, just blatantly honest than Axie Infinity. Um, sorry, not sorry, it just is. Um, all of the items and stuff too, like if you click them, it's super in depth. You can see like exactly what they give you, uh, their player power level. Um, so you can see this actually gives, will give me like more uh, player power than the one I currently have equipped, but I'm keeping the one I currently have equipped equipped because it gives me plus 12% quality find. Um, they both give the throw grenade active ability, so that's fine. Um, and yeah, I just care more about uh, finding more high quality items than I do using this high quality item. Um, if that makes sense but i love that you can compare you can easily see like you can have multiple loadouts you can easily see what uh items you have equipped and if you have multiple characters running it will even tell you like oh this item is equipped on another character so maybe you don't want to get rid of it but there's a couple other things i want to show off to you guys here uh before we finish off this video you're gonna see all the abilities i have active um right here from the items that i have i already guys showed you guys runes um, but then also if you if you in a match collect more items than you can actually carry and you have to discard some of them they actually appear here and if there's like a really valuable item that you accidentally discard or you have to discard because you just got so many valuable items you can actually redeem items before they go into the furnace here and buy them out of the furnace but we're not going to do that um, and then items that go into the furnace actually turn into um, rewards for you as well so you even do get something off of items that you have to discard after rounds if you have too many items in your inventory um, but i generally recommend kind of just going through especially just like getting rid uh, once you have like mostly uh, blue items equipped just getting rid of of most of the the green and gray items just like straight up really easily oh I forgot one here and uh, yeah, it works out pretty well. Okay, so the very last thing to show off here, which I think is super cool is, uh, oh, daily challenges and player versus player. So the daily challenges are cool. Um, this is how you unlock um, like the blue substance, um, which you need for, for a lot of, of stuff, um, like getting your passive abilities unlocked and uh, doing stuff with runes. Um, but then also doing your weekly challenges allows you to claim runes. So, so far it's let me claim two runes on two different days, uh, which seems really generous for what's gonna be an NFT that you can claim. I think that's super awesome uh, that this game just gives you that value for free um, straight away like that. I think that's super cool. Um, Web3 games are gonna need to have to figure out how to Stop botting, especially if you're gonna get free NFTs if you want them to maintain any type of value. But I think that these NFTs, doesn't really matter if they have value, they're just cool. They help you in the game. And the fact that you can trade them or give them to your friends and stuff, I, that's that's what makes Web3 games super, super awesome. And that's what this game promotes. It's like free to play and play to 
own or play and own, which is super awesome. So then the final thing to show off here is the arena, which is player versus player battles. Um, and what's really cool is if you finish in the arena, like in the top 100, you get in-game rewards, but then you also get NFT rewards during these alpha seasons. So um, I believe if you finish in the top 10, uh, you get these like hero gift card NFT rewards, and then the top three get actual hero NFTs for free, uh, which is like a 50 to $100 value for free. Pretty cool. There's only like 2,000 people playing this game right now. Super, super small. I mean, it still is an alpha testing, so that makes sense. So get Getting in the top 10 doesn't isn't as crazy as it sounds. There's only like 2,000 people playing. There's probably only a couple hundred actually competing seriously for that top 10 uh, spot to win those NFTs. Um, and I'm actually probably gonna be joining them. Um, I've been leveling up my hero and having fun in the PvP. Um, I'm not gonna jump into that here because I just, I don't think I'm gonna be able to focus well enough while also trying to commentate. Um, and I think this has been a pretty good overview of this game. So in closing here the important things to remember if you want to play in this alpha you can pick up an nft hero um the game will be free to play though if you want to wait or if you just want to apply to be an alpha tester free to play heroes get reset every season your items get destroyed every season and turned into raw resources and each season is going to be a super fun race with literally new bosses. This is a story driven game with like campaigns and there's a gonna be a massive player versus player environment with rewards and it's on mobile. This is just super awesome. Super awesome all the way around. Currently there is no crypto token for this game that you earn in the game. And I actually think that's kind of cool. If it doesn't need it, it doesn't need it. Um, but in the white paper I did read, um, they're considering it, they're thinking about it. So maybe there's a token that comes for this game later. I don't really care. What I care about, what I think is super awesome is there's a playable, fun Web3 game that I am hyped to be getting into to, and I just want to play more of, which is what I needed, what we need in this space since we've had like Axie Infinity Collapse and no one, I mean, I don't really have any desire to play that game anymore. Um, just <laughs> maybe that will change. I haven't even tried out land, so I need to try out land. I also need to play a bit more Origins. It's changed a lot, um, I've heard. So yeah, this game though, way more up my alley, way more fun. If you guys enjoyed me showing this one off to you, remember to drop a big thumbs up, hit subscribe for more Web3 Gaming content. Anjin Gaming is all about the future of the metaverse. And until next time, everyone, have fun, hopefully playing Shatterpoint, because I know I definitely am.